geothermal energy projects are using tech from the oil and gas industry to improve production. There's so much demand for firm clean energy, and so we basically, at this point in time, feel like we can't build fast enough to meet the demand. Tonight on Marketplace, how we're transitioning to a more sustainable future. That's coming up next on WNYC. More All Things Considered at 7 p.m. tonight at 8 o'clock. It is on point. That's followed by On the Media at 9. Q is at 10 p.m. tonight. 77 degrees. It's raining right now in New York City for the rest of tonight. More rain. Thunderstorms, too. Tomorrow, much of the same. WNYC on a Friday evening at 6.30. WNYC is supported by Cary Institute of Ecosystem Studies, presenting Adapting to the New Age of Wildfire, How Predictive Science and Ecology Can Address the Wildfire Crisis, September 20th, 7 p.m. at the Green Space. Tickets at caryinstitute.org. This is WNYC, 93.9 FM and AM 820, NPR News and the New York Conversation. Marketplace is supported by Amazon Business, helping provide a smarter, easier way to get the supplies businesses need to thrive. Amazon Business, your partner for smart business buying. The week that was, because it's Friday, then a blast from the past with tariffs, and then sustainable energy from the American home of oil and gas. From American public media, this is Marketplace. Marketplace is supported by Domo, the data experience platform innovator that puts data to work for everyone so they can multiply their impact on the business. More at Domo.com. And by Fidelity. A dedicated Fidelity advisor can help create a wealth plan for a full financial picture. Investment minimums apply. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC. In Los Angeles, I'm Kai Rizdal. It is Friday today. This one is the eighth day of September. Good as always to have you along, everybody. This has been, relatively speaking, a data light week in this economy. So we're going to try to keep things big picture. Here to do that with us, Regina Smilek. She is at the New York Times. Amara Mokwe is at the Wall Street Journal. Hey, you too. Hey, Kai. Hey, Kai. So lots of uh, Fed talkers this week, Amara, including uh, one on this program, uh, Austin Goolsby, the president of the Chicago Fed. He said a bunch of stuff. You know, we ran like an eight-minute interview uh, with him. Um, and one of the things he said that I tried to nail him down on, and, and honestly, I failed, was how much more the Fed is going to need to see before it says, okay, we're done. You know, he gave me the standard data, 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 we need to see data thing. And I said, Austin, look, there's all kinds of data that shows things are going pretty well. And he said, yeah, no, we need to see more. And my question is, how, how long is it sustainable for the Fed to keep saying, yeah, we just need to see more? Um, I think as long as they feel like they want to do that. <laughs> I mean, I feel like th that is going to continue to be their answer because they are really concerned about getting inflation down in a way where it's going to stay down, right? And they want to, as they've, as a lot of the Fed officials have said over and over, they want to stay nimble, they want to stay data dependent. And so I feel like they're going to continue to be in this mode where they give themselves the flexibility. I, kn I know that most of us are expecting them to pause in September, mm -hmm. but they want to give themselves the flexibility to um, hike again if they need to, if they feel like they need to, or, or, or take policy in whatever direction they feel like they need to as the data come in. So, so Gina, what what I hear Amara saying is they want to keep it fast and loose and easy. Is, it, is that fair? It, right. The opposite of easy. They want to keep well, not, it. Well, no, not 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 policy, not policy, and not loose <laughs> yeah. policy. You're right. You're right. I'm talking to an actual Fed reporter as a guy who plays one on the radio. Uh, they want to. They want. 